And I think we have to do a lot more with respect to poverty alleviation and helping the needy people of the world. We need to increase the amount of resources we put into our development programs to help the rest of the world. Because when you help the poorest in the world, you start to move them up an economic and social ladder, and they're not going to be moving toward violence or terrorism of the kind that we worry about. Without uh, development, we will not be successful in either Iraq or Afghanistan. And so in the fights that we're in, the civilian component is absolutely critical to success. It's in our national interest to see that uh, developing countries, who by the way, buy about 45% of our exports. Foreign assistance, uh, most Americans, by the way, think we spend much more money on foreign assistance than we actually do. Once in a love, the about the use of foreign aid? First of all, we shouldn't come at it with the uh, thought, understanding, or framework of its aid. It's an investment. It is an investment in stability and security. You look around the world today and you identify the troubled spots of the world. These are the spots in the world that were left behind the last 50 years. They didn't benefit from the great strides for mankind that were made in medicine and in science and in education and in individual liberty and jobs and opportunities in education. History is very clear on this point. Every event in the history of man has been dominated by the human condition. And if you don't deal with the human condition, we, we, we know what's going to happen. Hey, what do you say to the Nebraska farmer who comes to you and says, what are we doing building roads and schools and all these wonderful sounding things in Africa when we have such need in our own country? Nebraska's economy, whether you're a farmer or you're a small town banker or whether you're an insurance business in Omaha, knows that opportunities to sell Nebraska's grain and beef and small equipment machinery is enhanced when more markets open up around the world and we can invest in some of these areas and as Africa opens up, China opens up, Indonesia, so on and so on. That, that allows us to prosper too. Should we be spending more money on foreign assistance? You know, oh, the percentage, the, the foreign assistance budget is about, is less than one and a half percent of our total budget. Mm -hmm. We, we would spend the equivalent of that entire budget in three months in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. I like the dark and I think to myself, what a wonderful world.